So, Maiden Voyage. Um, as I just explained, everyone likes my pork butt, my pulled pork, but there's, and I like it, but there's always something lacking. So, um, Mark over at Bob Sony Butchers said, why don't you try a collar? So I'm like, okay, no problem. Doesn't have the same fat cap on as what a big pork butt does. Uh, and the fat's nice and soft. So I've got no gloves either. No gloves! So um, got to keep a clean hand and my dirty hand. Clean hand, dirty hand. So I'm going to try it. We're also going to try with the new uh, Blazing Star products. We've got the Scorpion Rub and then we've got the Asian Bang, which I'm going to be um, glazing with right at the very end. But let's go ahead and get this seasoned up. So we're going to give a nice coating because pork like this is, is really thick, really dense meat. Um, no bone in this one. You can, it's forgiving when it comes to the amount of rub you can put on. And my general rule of thumb is, is if it is sticking, then you don't need, you can keep on going. Going to get the edges, get the sides. So we're going to give it a base of this. See how it's absorbing into that meat straight away. So we're going to give it a base of this scorpion rub. And then we're going to follow that up before we go and wash the hands with some of the pork and rub. And we're going to go a little bit heavier with the pork and rub. Just mop this up a little bit on the sides. Start from the back. And the thing, look, you see that with the Blazing Star products, how just the granules in this are really big, full of flavour. And like I said, because this is a, a weighty piece of meat, just it's just all thick meat, I want to give this a real big... Ah! It's Halloween, isn't it? Can I go into my wife and my daughter and start threatening to cover them with this? So, and that's that. I've put, I don't think you can see on the video, but I've, I've actually put quite a large amount of rub on this. And we're going to let this sit while we get the Kamado Joe Classic 3 up to temperature. Normally I'll do a pork butt or pork collar around about 225, 250. Um, I think I'm going to do this at about 250 and we'll see what happens. But now I've got to go clean up. High five, yo. Looking for that between 160, 165, and we're there. A little bit hot over this side. So we're there, ready to wrap. Excuse the lighting. But now we've got some time for the Blazing Star Asian Bang Sauce. And I want this all over. I want a good coat this. So the Asian Bang Sauce is not as um, thick. It smells amazing. It's not as thick as the... Um, you would find the barbecue sauce. Um, it's actually a lot thinner, runnier. But looks great. You can see the, the, the peppers or the seeds in here from the chilies or whatever is in here. Just looks great. And we're gonna go ahead and just put this in the pan Now, something I like to do with um, with pork like this is bore a hole into it, just a couple, and then we're going to pour the sauce into the meat. Just to get that deep inside.
Oh, wow. That's like licking the, the cake bowl. That's amazing. Right, let's get it back on the Joe. So this looks and smells absolutely amazing. I've come inside now because um, the light, but smoke rings. One chunk of apple wood went on this. You know I gotta try some of this. Mouth watering, it smells amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, wow, that Asian bang is nice. Let's have some more. It's um, a scorpion's got a bit of a kick. You get the kind of sweetness with that pork and rub. Oh, so, so hot. Quick update, wow, I went into um, the living room, daughter's asleep on my wife, and I went in with a little bit like this, and she was like, <laughs> can I have some for my dinner please babe? This is a woman who's like, and I like barbecue food, don't like it when you cook on barbecue. Smells barbecue. Of course, it smells barbecue. It's barbecue. But then when you do that, and she's like, hmm, "Can I have some for my dinner, please?" 